In this class, we will try to understand transmission line equations. Consider parallel wire with length z. Two wire line is divided into small segments. This small segment length is delta z. This small spec segment of length looks like as below line. Each two wire line having high frequency inductance and one, re and one resistance and there is a capacitance between two wire line and there can be a charge leakage through conductance. The inductance, resistance, conductance and capacitance. Since we are talking about small length delta z of line. So unit of length is Henry per meter. Unit of resistance is ohm per meter. Unit of capacitance is farad per meter. Unit of conductance is mo per meter. Therefore, we can say unit of the parameter is per unit length. To get absolute value of inductance in Henry, I have to multiply the Henry per meter with unit length that is meter. Therefore, here to get the absolute value of the parameter, I have to multiply with the unit length delta z. Based on uniform distributor circuit theory, the schematic circuit of two wire line or two conductor transmission line is as shown below. As I told before, a two wire line is divided into small segments. Each segment having the length delta z. A small length of the line can be represented by an equivalent symmetrical T network with constant parameters R, L, G and C per unit length as shown in figure where R resistance per unit length which takes into account the ohmic loss in the line conductor. L inductance per unit length which takes into account the magnetic energy stored around the conductor. G conductance per unit length which takes into account the dielectric loss between the line conductors. C capacitances per unit length which appears due to two conductors at different potential and represents the electric energy storage. It is assumed that positive, it is assumed that wave propagation takes place in positive z direction. To get the transmission line equation in voltage form, apply the KVL to the center loop. Apply the KVL to the center loop. Voltage at this point is V of Z comma T which is equal to current in this loop is center loop is I Z comma T into R delta Z plus 
इंडक्टेंस कंपोनेंट प्लस वोल्टेज एट दिस पॉइंट वी जेड प्लस डेल्टा जेड कॉमा टी कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय दिस इक्वेशंस Rearranging the equation one, divided by dividing delta z, and then omitting the argument z comma t, we get v equal to i r plus l do i by Do t plus v plus do v by do z. So v v cancels. Therefore, we will get zero equal to i r plus l do i by do t plus do v divided by do z. Which is equal to minus do v by do z is equal to i r plus l do i divided by do t. Using KCL for point B, we get current at this point uh, i z comma t, which is equal to voltage across the Conductance that is V Z plus delta Z comma T plus capacitor and voltage across the capacitor plus current in this loop. So V Z plus delta Z. comma t can be represented by this equation similarly v of z plus delta z comma t can be represented by this equation And I of z plus delta z comma t can be represented by this equation. from the previous slide consider the third equation that is i of z comma t equal to this equal to this equation and rearrange the equation 3 will give us this equation that is when the i of z comma t and this i of z comma t cancels And uh, outside the bracket term will be multiplied with the inside the terms. We will get this equation. This equation is divided by delta z. Above equation is divided by delta z. We will get zero left hand side and in the right hand side. What does it mean? Only v of z comma t and g. In the next term, one delta z is cancels. 
then here another one delta z is cancels and the delta z cancelled and here again delta z cancelled the remained equations equation is this equate delta z tends to 0 in the above equation this equation and vomit z comma t we get we get 0 equal to Vg plus when delta z tends to 0 this term becomes 0 plus omit z comma t argument dou v by dou t plus again when the delta z tends to 0 this term becomes 0 plus dou i by dou z by omitting argument z comma t. Therefore, remind equation 0 equal to vg plus c dou v by dou t plus dou i by dou z which is equal to minus dou i by dou z equal to vg plus c dou v by dou t. By differentiating the equation 2 with respect to z, we will get the equation number 5. So, what is the equation number 2? Minus dou v by dou z is equal to i r plus l dou i by dou t. This is a equation number 2 this equation number 2 or e equation number 2 is differentiating with respect to z we will get the fifth equation similarly when differentiating the equation number 4 with respect to t we will get the equation number 6 what is the equation number 4 minus dou i divided by dou z is equal to vg plus c dou v by dou t. This is the equation number 4. By differentiating the equation number 4 with respect to t, we will get the equation number 6. After substituting the equation number 4 and equation number 6 in equation number 5, we will get the transmission line equation in voltage form. So substitute equation number 4 and equation number 6 in equation number 5. Number 4 and 6 are substituting in the equation number 5. What we will get? Do square V divided by do z square is equal to here in the r into do i by do z in the do i by do z substitute the equation number 4 plus L and substitute the equation number 6 that is L into 
g do v by do t plus c do square v divided by do t square. By rearranging this equation, we will get the equation this. And again, if we rearrange the, this equation, we will get the transmission line equation in voltage form. That is equal to R into GV plus RC plus LG into dou V by dou T plus LC into dou square V divided by dou T square. Here we can observe we have neglected minus sign of the from the fourth equation. When we are substituting the fourth equation in the equation number five, we are neglected minus sign since because because wave propagation takes place in positive z direction, so that we can neglect the negative sign here. This is our voltage form equation.